black man, 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 black man. Sorry, <laughs> this is my joint. <laughs> I've been enjoying this song. If you haven't heard, Pharrell Williams and Jay-Z put out a brand new track called Entrepreneur. In that video, they highlighted a ton of black owned businesses, 33 to be exact. And in this video, I want to do a full breakdown on each and every one of the black owned businesses that was featured in this music video. I think what Pharrell and Jay-Z did in this video by shining a light on small business owners is a huge deal. So shout out to Pharrell, shout out to Jay-Z. Let's get right into the breakdown. What's up guys, I'm Jamal Nolan, back with another episode of Culture Breakdown. If you're new to this channel, please be sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and bell notification because I bring you the why behind the success of the most influential black people in our culture every single Tuesday. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know if you have seen some of these black owned businesses, if you supported them already, or if you're going to support them in the future. If you guys follow my channel or you follow me on social media, links will be down below, Twitter and Instagram. If you follow me, you know for sure that I support black owned businesses. So this video is like an extension of what I really, really love. And speaking of black owned businesses, <laughs> Darn right I am black history. This shirt came from a company that I recently partnered up with called Made With Melanin. And I will leave a link down below, also a promo code down below to help you get 30% off on your order. If you want some cool gear just like this. So the video starts off with Vox Collegiate Junior High and I freaking love this. It was created by Ty Anthony Davis because 20 schools in his district were performing at the bottom 5% statewide. So Ty Anthony not only decided to create a school, but is a tuition free charter school in Los Angeles, California. And I love this because it's a teacher that's just saying like, Hey, there's a major problem in our community and I'm going to do something to rectify the situation. So students from all over can go to his school and it's tuition free. Like that's an incredible thing to give people the power to have a great education for free. The next person in the video is Tyler, the creator. And I think Tyler has to be one of the more impressive people in this video. They literally like list off all of his businesses and it's like 20 plus. That's absolutely incredible. Like Jay-Z says in his verse, serial entrepreneur, like that's what that is. And that's something that I aspire to be is just to get my hands involved in as many things that I appreciate and that I'm passionate about. And Tyler, the creator really did a great job there. Business number three, Honey Kettle. Honey Kettle is a business that was created back in 2000 by Vincent and Arlene Williams. Basically, they're a restaurant that makes kettle cooked fried chicken. It sounds delicious and it actually sounds pretty healthy. During the pandemic, their kids started helping them and was able to help them expand their business. Not once, but twice. That's something I want to point out. During this entire pandemic, black owned businesses have been flourishing. A lot of them. A lot of them have been created and a lot of them have been flourishing. And that's another great reason why Pharrell and Jay-Z kind of shined the light on these small black owned businesses. Number four on the list, Spatial Labs. That was created by Idris Sandu. And what Idris does is kind of create holograms of your favorite people, i.e. Nipsey Hussle, what he has going on at the Marathon store. I'm going to kind of include some B-roll in here. This footage came to me by one of my favorite artists, which is Art by Lay. I'll leave his link in the description box. That's my guy. But I wanted to shout him out because that's a black owned business. But he showed me this video and I believe that these are the graphics that Idris put together himself. to kind of create this content. He's created coding and algorithms for Snapchat, Instagram. Now he's making his own and boy, I cannot wait to see what he has next in store. Next up is the Honey Pot Company by Beatrice Dixon. This is for all the ladies out there. This is an all natural feminine care product line for you. You know what I'm saying? For your, for your honey pot, whatnot. I'm just going to say it verbatim. This product is to help women stay clean, protect and balance your honey pot. Yep. I said it. Yep, I did. The next one is from the brothers Artel and Darnell Ism. They created the first black owned anime studio in Japan. It's called The Art Jonhai. 
black culture and anime is a big deal like merging those two together and being the first to create that in japan is super super dope next up is Issa Rae production like come on man if you're a fan of this channel you've already seen my culture break down on Issa Rae and how dope she is how she started on youtube and now she has a studio that she's building her own empire on the same very block that she started her youtube channel on i think that's incredible Shout out to Issa. Also, watch the culture breakdown if you haven't seen it. They took a moment of silence in the video to show respect to Nipsey Hussle, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Next business in the video is the Marathon Clothing. Obviously, that was created by Nipsey Hussle. If you haven't seen my culture breakdown on him, what are you doing? Check it out. It's one of the dopest videos on this channel, but we love you, Nipsey. R.I.P. Like, man, it's crazy. Gone but never forgotten, man. Next up is the Neighborhood Skate Shop. Listen, I could not find the name of this owner nowhere, but this is a Neighborhood Skate Shop in LA, super dope, that it was like the first black-owned skate shop in the neighborhood. I love the idea. Next up is Aldrich Augustine, who runs this city. Like, literally. He got a brand called Keep It Run 100. I love that. I love the wordplay on that, but he basically started a run club where he can help people run, keep them in shape, and get paid for it. Super dope concept, super great idea. Six Sev is a designer, a rapper, an entrepreneur, activist, whatever you want to call it. And he's done a lot of work in a marathon shop with Nipsey as well. Next up is Huron Coffee, ran by Chase Infinite. He took the money that he earned from the music industry and created a coffee shop. I know y'all might've lost count, but number 13 is Partake Foods. Partake Food was created by Denise Woodard because her baby was born with a lot of food allergies. She wanted to create allergy sensitive snacks. And from what I hear, those snacks are very delicious, but there's a principle in her story. She was told no by 86 investors before Jay-Z told her yes. Here's the principle. And if you're new to the channel, this will be the first time you heard this. But if you don't like being told no, you haven't heard no enough. Go out there and get more no's because that just gets you closer to your next yes. Next up is the restaurant My Two Cents, started by Elise Reynolds. My Two Cents sells fine cuisine and like a new spin, a healthier look at soul food. She's just taking the black culture and redefining what it is and what it has to be through soul food and healthy cooking. I mean, how could you not support that? How could you not support being a more healthy individual and keeping the same authentic soul? Next up is Per Homes. This is Angela Richardson. She has created natural, non-toxic, eco-friendly cleaning supplies and laundry detergent, which is super dope. Like I'm all for natural products. And I'm also just here for the black owned businesses thinking and being creative outside of the box. And now she has her products in all kinds of big box retail stores. Number 16, Bia Bloom, started by Tabia Yaps. This is, she's a florist and plenty of other things as they show here in the video. So she's a florist and what she does is create limited edition boutiques and stuff that's like on a monthly basis. So what she kind of did was make flowers like an exclusive shoe drop, which is crazy and it's super dope because that means people are gonna constantly wanna keep coming back to see what's new for this month. Number 17, Tribe Midwifery. This was created by Debbie Allen because she knew how black women were at a higher risk of dying in hospitals from giving birth than other women are. So she created a safe space for women to be able to birth their own child and the comfort of their own home knowing that they was there with somebody that cared about them. And I can appreciate this because if you guys seen my story time about natural birth, that's just something that me and my wife believed in. I mean, look at me, I'm plugging videos left and right. But I mean, it's all just relevant, man. Next up is Miss Benet Fitness. And like, this is self-explanatory. But she is an incredible trainer and a physique competitor. Number 19, Black and Mobile. This was created by 22-year-old college dropout David Cabello. And I absolutely love this. It is a food delivering service kind of like a DoorDash or Uber Eats, but it's only catering to black owned restaurants. So if you're a black owned restaurant, you live in that area, they are delivering food out to your customers. Like that is fire. That is a tremendously great idea. And that young man is going to win 
with that idea. I am all about catering to a black market. Obviously, this is what Culture Breakdown is about. Number 20, Trill Paws. This was created by Rachel Jones. She's like, yo, who the heck says that your dog can't look fly? Like, I love it. A lot of people have a lot of dogs. Why not have your dog look cool? She create cool dog tags and other accessories for your dogs, which is super dope. 21 Third Vault Yarns. This was created by Lola Johnson in London. Super dope company as well. And I love how they kind of incorporate many different companies, even from across the world, not just here based in America. This isn't a black owned business, but he will be very successful here in the near future. This is our very first black valedictorian from Princeton University. So let's give a round of applause for this young man, Nicholas Johnson. And this is really the last business that they include in the video called the Broadway Collective created by Robert Hartwell. This is my favorite story in the entire video. This is where the Broadway dancer is doing his dancing, his interpretive dancing outside of a house. I can't include the video of him dancing, so I'll just give you my interpretation of it. This house was previously owned by slave masters who enslaved his ancestors and he bought that house for $400,000 cash so he can train and develop the next generation of Broadway stars. And then they closed the video out with the credits on the side roll, but they also included in another 11 businesses, like just quick snapshots of another 11 businesses. So what I'm going to do is give you guys a quick briefing of those same exact businesses. So thank you again to Jay-Z and Pharrell for creating this incredible video. Also, shout out to you guys for watching this video thus far. And I appreciate you guys watching this week's episode of Culture Breakdown. Until next week, I'm out.